Hey guys, so we are back. And not only did we drop off a bunch of animals that went out to other institutions, we also received some as well. We actually have something exciting in here. So let's take a look. So you can see we've got two of our animals in here. It's kind of a mystery. Now these obviously are not venomous because I am picking them up with my bare hands. We wouldn't do that typically if it was a venomous animal, but these guys are definitely not. So these are some new young Galapagos tortoises. Now there is a bunch of different species of Galapagos tortoises, but these are the Volcan Island Galapagos tortoises that are the same species as the three smaller ones that we've had for quite a few years here that we've got to watch grow out. This is part of our way to grow our future herd so we can have a bunch of large tortoises just like Emerson and many other large tortoises out there. So we're gonna have our vet come over and take a look at our new tortoises. Now we'll get them in their new quarantine setup. Okay, so we have Dr. Whitney here who is one of our excellent vet staff and she's gonna go ahead and take a look at our new acquisitions. So luckily our sending institution did a lot of our pre-shipment requests beforehand. So usually when they come in, I like to do just a preliminary exam on them, make sure everything looks okay. I wanna take a look at his eyes, make sure I don't see any discharge, same with his nostrils. I like to look at his respiratory rate, make sure that's not elevated. Right now, he looks nice and clear there, his respiratory rate's nice and normal. I do a preliminary look at his skin, his musculature, it looks like all of his limbs are working properly at this point, and his shell looks like it's in good shape. So after I do my preliminary check, I like to set him back down into the exhibit, and I'll schedule with Nick a more thorough exam later on. When I set him down too, I can check his ambulation, make sure everything's okay there. Looks like he's walking just fine after a long trip. Same thing with this one. I want to take a look at his eyes, his nose. I check his respiratory rate kind of in this area here. Looks like he's expelling some things, so it looks like his waterworks work. <laughs> his skin looks good. His carapace and plastron, so his shells, look nice and healthy as well. So we'll set him down, check his ambulation as well. Now what you guys are seeing in here right now is actually their quarantine setup. So anytime we have new animals come into our collection, a lot of institutions will pre-test like Dr. Whitney said, but we give them about 90 days typically, as long as we're not seeing any clinical signs that they may be unhealthy or could have disease or contaminant that could affect the rest of our collection. So these guys will be in a basically isolated quarantine setup for at least 90 days, and that's when we'll do all that additional testing. And then hopefully in spring, as long as everything goes well, once they leave quarantine, you'll most likely be able to see them out in Galapagos Gardens. 